Hi everyone, Lisa here from Pretty Fabulous. So in a video last week, uh, I did a review, or I guess last month, of the InDesign changes for 2023. One of them was style packs, and I thought you would be using these to quickly edit your Adobe InDesign templates for me, but I'm not sure that you are. So I'm just gonna do a quick lesson on how to quickly update this with a couple clicks. So first thing, go to uh, Window and make sure that Styles, uh, style packs is selected. So if you've ever used Squarespace, they have style packs for headers, one subheaders, all that. It's kind of the same thing. Um, they have a lot of, I shouldn't say a lot, they have a few pre-made style packs in here. Quite honestly, they're just not the most attractive. Uh, so don't worry, we're gonna change it. It really doesn't matter what you choose. Um, let's choose this one because it has some different colors. Uh, so we're gonna choose this style pack. Now, once you've chosen this style pack, if you head over here, here to a paragraph, um, you should be able to apply said style pack to that area. So you can see I had to click back and forth. You saw that auto styling notice come up. And now it's this table of looks just like this style pack that we see over here. So if you're wondering, you know, one, what exactly, what's that font? How do I change it? How do you change the colors? Um, the, the first inclination you probably have is to hit that type tool and then start making changes up here. Don't do that, like do not do that. Change those within the style pack because the reason we want to do that is because then it will be changed all the time for you. So let's go ahead, open that uh, paragraph styles. And if you don't see that, make sure to go to window and styles and make sure paragraph styles is checked. Now you're gonna see inside of here, all of the styles that were part of this template. However, style packs was not selected. So over here for style packs, we see heading. So what we're going to do is we're gonna double click heading and now we have some different options. So we can go ahead and change this. So you see that font? Now we're gonna change it here and it's gonna change everywhere all the time. So I'm gonna pick uh, Dido, Dido, whatever you wanna call it, uh, cause I see that everywhere. Now my table of contents is gone and that's cause this letting is massively huge. So we are just going to do zero for the letting. And let's come over here uh, and let's try that again. There we go. So I just had to click heading again to make sure that was applied there. Now this is left justified. That's not really what I want. Um, so if I come back over here, and I come down to indents and spacing. Alignment is left. We're gonna change it to center. You can see it just moved. Make sure you have a checkbox here in front of preview. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to preview the changes. And we don't really want blue. We are gonna come over here to color. And I am going to choose green because it matches with the rest of this. Okay, maybe not that shade of green. Maybe this darker shade of green. Um, and then I'm gonna say, okay. So now heading is this darker shade of green. So if I go to, uh, let's just go to this page and let's say for this text right here, I want it to have, it has basically what I set up inside of the template, but I wanna use that new heading that I have. So I'm gonna hit heading and now you can see it's green and it is dyed it. And I'm gonna hit this over here, same thing. I'm gonna hit heading and now it's changed it. So this is a really fast and easy way to change it. Now, yes, you do have to go through every single section because the InDesign does not know what you want for heading or subheading, um, but over here, it's gonna make it so much faster the next time you go through, uh, and you might have to just change some spacing on different things um, as you go through. Now, let's say I wanted to make this, um, oh, let's go to this text. Let's say I wanna make this like a subheading. Uh, as you can see, we have the quotes section. So if you've never used paragraph styles, two things. One, they make everything so much faster. So if I hit this and I hit quotes, now it looks just like that or I can go back to heading, or I can do paragraph text, or I can do section numbers, or I can do section headings, lines wide, uh, daily boxes of advice. So all of these different styles are a way for you to quickly update text without having to do, go through up here and have to check, find the font that you want, and then have to change the alignment and the size and, you know, so this is, by far, even though it seems like it's taking a long time, it is much faster. So we're gonna change that back to heading really quick. Um, and then over here, so let's say we wanna make a new definition for subheadings. Uh, so that's that default orange that you know, wasn't so pretty. So all we have to do to change that, same thing, double click that. You're gonna go to character formats, um, 
We're gonna pick a new font, which is better. So let's say, I really like the bicyclette lately. Look at that, that looks great. It is hard to read and thin, so let's go ahead and make it bold. It might be too bold, maybe we'll make it regular. And um, I do like the spacing, so I'm gonna leave the letting right where it is. Uh, size, maybe I'll make it a little bigger. Um, and then for tracking, it looks a little far. I'm just gonna make this a two. And then, oops, let me double click that. And then color, definitely happy with that yellow. It just happened to match the rest of it. That was a happy coincidence. Um, so I'm gonna say okay, and I'm pretty much set. So if I want to change the rest of some of this text to say, be the same. Uh, first of all, this is grouped together, so we're going to ungroup that. Um, and I'm gonna change this to subhead. And I'm going to make that text box a little bigger. And maybe I need to make this a paragraph. So I might need to make a new one that's a little too small. Again, super easy. Gonna do this a third time for you. We're gonna go through. I like the Gotham Extra Light. Um, I'm just gonna make this a little bigger. There we go. Uh, and for color, let's make it match the rest of everything that is on here. And we're gonna make it that yellow. Okay, that's maybe hard to read. Maybe we'll just do a classic black. Um, there we go. Uh, and so over here, now we'll use that subhead. There we go. Um, and maybe, let's double check that subhead. I don't think it should make a difference. I'm gonna go ahead and center this. Um, and then over here, I want to, again, ungroup this. And I quickly want to change this to the heading. So it is in Dido. And I'm going to make this bigger. So it does require a little bit of finessing to make this fit perfect. Um, oh, I see. Someone did a hard return back there. <laughs> and you can move this around. And then over here, we're going to make this paragraph. And again, you can just keep going through and kind of changing everything as you want. Whoops. And you're not alone. Whoops, that is grouped. So you gotta ungroup stuff first. So if you see the dotted lines, it's grouped. Uh, and I'm gonna move this up here, I'm gonna move this down there. Uh, but yeah, then you can start styling this so it looks like how you want it to look instead of how I made it. And you can do it really quickly without having to go through and rechange everything one by one. So I really do like this new uh, format. Um, you know, play around with it, see what you like, and hopefully this will save you some time on editing and customizing any of the templates in the shop. All right, let me know if you have questions below. Happy to help and I will see everybody next week. Bye.